What is repentance and what is it not? Recently, there was some controversy surrounding remarks made by Franklin Graham that homosexuals can go to heaven if they repent. Can I go to heaven as a gay person? Absolutely. Uh, but the same for any of us. We have to repent of our sins and turn. And of course, this has upset some people. And no question. A lot of gay people feel that they are sinners, but not because they're gay. Thank you, Koki. Thanks to everyone and happy. But it's also caused some misconstruation about the definition of repentance and what it actually is and means in Scripture. Let's begin in the Old Testament. The Hebrew term for repentance is basically teshuvah, teshuvah, which means to return towards God from sin or to turn from sin towards God, teshuvah. It is not being contrite or sorry. In Psalm 51, David's penitential psalm, we see that there is contrition. If somebody repents, there will, in, sense, uh, in a sense, be this idea of being contrite or having regret what we've done. But that is largely emotional and only partially spiritual. Teshuvah goes beyond that. It is fully spiritual and fully psychological. It means there's been a conviction of the Holy Spirit of sin and a desire to turn from that sin towards God. An alcoholic can blow the family paycheck, come home drunk and abuse his wife and children, wake up the next day and regret what he did, but then go out and get drunk again. He's not repented, even though he has expressed regret and sorrow for what he did. Unless someone turns from the sin, there is no teshuvah, there is no repentance. Being contrite, may be a symptom of repentance. It may be an indication that repentance has taken place. If someone has indeed repented, then normally we would expect be contrition, regret, being sorry for whatever happened. But that is not repentance itself. There must be a turning away from the sin towards God, a renunciation, not only of the sin itself, but of the propensity or the intent to repeat it. That's the Old Testament, Teshuvah. Now let's look at the New Testament, the Greek word metanoia. First of all, let's understand what metanoia is not. Repentance does not mean penance. Martin Luther learned from the Greek humanist scholar Lefebvre the true definition of metanoia in the Greek language. It meant to repent. It meant the same thing as teshuvah. Throughout the Dark Ages, the Roman Catholic Church was teaching people that repentance equaled the Roman Catholic sacrament of penance, that some priest could take away your sin acting vicariously on behalf of Christ. Luther then found out that the word metanoia had nothing to do with the sacrament of penance or any other sacrament or ritual or ex opere operato liturgical procedure in Roman Catholicism. That has nothing to do with repentance. Roman Catholic confession, their so-called sacrament of penance, these things have nothing to do with the biblical meaning of either teshuvah or metanoia. Metanoia simply means what teshuvah does, to repent, to turn away from sin towards God. Yes, someone may be sorry, even partly sorry. There may indeed be a sincere contrition, a regret of having offended God and having offended others and having even hurt ourselves. That is all true. It may be a sincere response emotionally and may even reflect the spiritual conviction. But that's not the repentance. The repentance is to turn to turn away from sin towards God. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless and thanks for listening.